the 2022 FIFA World Cup, the crown jewel of the Federation, was awarded to Qatar. As preparations got underway, human rights abuses suffered by people building the infrastructure for the World Cup hit the headlines. Almost 10 years on, and there have been 6,500 deaths and 211 abuse cases involving unpaid wages, the withholding of passports, and inhumane working conditions affecting over 24,000 workers. The spotlight was on Qatar. Who was accountable? In the search for accountability, the focus shifted to FIFA, a Swiss association which until 2019 had no employees or subsidiaries in Qatar and was not directly involved in the construction of the World Cup. Could they be held accountable? In the end, FIFA did assume limited responsibility for the labour rights and impact of the business activities related to the organisation of the World Cup. How so? Well, through a one-two combination of formalised legal processes and a public outcry campaign. In 2016, the Zurich Commercial Court rejected a claim brought against FIFA for being outside of its jurisdiction, since influencing a sovereign state to adjust their political system and legal order could not be considered a commercial activity. Building and Woodworkers International, however, did reach an agreement with FIFA to the Swiss OECD National Contact Plan. However, this was likely a result of pressure mounted by public outcry. To host the World Cup in Qatar has resulted in the suffering and in the harm of countless... Formalised legal processes served more as a means for social mobilisation than as effective recourses on their own. Nevertheless, the combination did result in real legal changes. In Qatar, a minimum wage was set and rules were adapted to allow foreign workers to change employees. For FIFA, this meant a commitment to human rights in the regulations and a new human rights policy. FIFA's acknowledgement of this responsibility opens a whole new area in the debate of responsibility. Basing political responsibility on linkage and connections instead of direct causal links. But are these more than words on paper? Will the changes ignited by the World Cup in Qatar remain once the tournament is out of focus and the crown jewel has left the country? <laughs>